In the shift towards a society dedicated to gender equality in all facets of life, whether professional or personal, St. Lucia, along with our government officials, display a tireless effort in pursuing this goal. Despite this, however, there are still many hurdles that must be overcome on a societal scale. As one of the leading figures within this movement, Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot addressed misconceptions of this campaign, as the intention is not to solely focus on women empowerment, but break boundaries and segregation between both genders and create a society of equal opportunity for both men and women. The way we are socialized and the things that we do, it actually marginalizes one gender as against another. And sometimes we look at the issue of gender equality, you have to take it by sectors. Because there are areas where women dominate in that area. There are areas where men dominate. So it is not an across the board issue where there is inequality and men dominate. It depends on where. And where we notice that there are areas where we have a lack of men present in that area, it is the responsibility, our responsibility to ensure that we have men taking on positions and playing a role in these areas. When we see areas where women are lacking in these areas, it is also our responsibility to help women to take their positions and play an active role. Minister Poyot maintains that this gender equality movement is not meant to disenfranchise or put down men, as many of the endeavors put forth will provide more opportunities for both genders. It is not a, a, a challenge to men. It is not a competition between men and women. It is one where we try to bring both men and women together so we can advance both men and women in all areas of development in the country. The Gender Affairs Minister cites numerous campaigns currently ongoing, such as the Beijing Platform, engaging all stakeholders to weigh in on how they believe this initiative should be executed. So coming out of this exercise where we have different stakeholders preparing that report to to indicate what has been St. Lucia's um, achievement over the years. It is a way of getting feedback from these groups to give the government an opportunity to prepare as we move forward. So I will welcome the report and see if we can incorporate as many of the suggestions coming out of this report uh, as part of our action plan in the coming months and year. In the fight for gender equality, our government officials seek to engage all parties in mutually beneficial and ethical endeavors. This includes the union of both men and women, as St. Lucia's leaders empower both genders in the quest for greater opportunity. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.